This is Austin St. John, and you are watching that hashtag show. You better pay attention. Yeah, we are. We are live. Hey, why do you have that stupid John Cena haircut? I like it, man. <laughs> you look great. You look like a <laughs> I told, John Cena. I told them, I told them, can I get a little fade? And then she went, oh, yeah, she said something real quick. So like, they messed up? No, no, she's like, she said something like, she said numbers. Like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. And then she started just going like this. Like, oh, where's my hair going? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. So I have another question for you. Why'd you, why, why'd you stop drinking? Uh, just, I just said after Power Morph kind of goes. No, what happened? No, there's a story behind this. No, 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 there's no story. Yeah, there's, yeah. Tell no, us the I said story. after Power Morph kind of. Are we on? I'm gonna start. Yeah, we're, we're on. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> welcome to that. Welcome to um, what is this called? Welcome uh, the to the Ranger, Ranger wrap, up. wrap up. We missed a week and I forget everything. But then, <laughs> in fairness, I did just get off of a, a, a flight. Um, you were filling in for Daniel Jer Jerome. Who is out? He's supposed to be in Palm Springs. With yeah. The cast. He's not. He's not. Yeah. He, okay. Nobody knows where he's at. Apparently, <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't know where he's at. But we're back. We survived Power Morphicon. We did. Barely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. By the skins <laughs> of our teeth. Oh my god. It's a tiring weekend. We're gonna talk about everything coming out of Power Morphicon, guys. We got a new episode today yep. of Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel. You got something in your hair. Looked like a booger, but I yeah. didn't know what it was. Uh, probably it's just probably fiber <laughs> cream. <laughs> but we're going to be talking about that. Like I said, we're also going to be talking a little bit more about the 25th anniversary. I hate calling it an anniversary because it's not an anniversary. An anniversary is something that, ha like, obviously when you get married, mm -hmm. it's not it is, you don't automatically start off with your first anniversary. Uh -huh. It's the 25th year, right. 24th anniversary. <laughs> Uh, Isn't it 20, haven't it, hasn't been going for 26 years? Or no? 25 years. 25 oh. years. Okay. So... That is that. We're also going to be talking about uh, giving our opinions on Beast Morphers. We have a special guest this week and uh, filling you guys in on a few things going on. Now, we know a lot of you guys are in the chat currently right now. Mm -hmm. uh, share this video out to your Power Ranger groups. Make this as popular as it can. I, we, I, we all met a lot of you over the weekend. Yeah. So thank nice. you for joining us. And now we are back in person, ready to talk to you guys about uh, all of our fun at Morph Gun. But if you want us to make sure that we get to your comments, you can hit us up on that super chat. That helps support the show. That is that S button for the support of a show yes, that we support. usually do. Um, but we got a lot going on, and I want to kick it kick it right off with uh, Super Ninja Steel. Super mm -hmm. Ninja Steel. Super Ninja Steel. We just got done watching the episode. Uh, this one is called Outfoxed. Outfoxed. Yeah, good memory. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Matamodius was a prominent role. Mat Matamodius also had her own Zord. Yeah, yeah. that was interesting. Uh, the, let's really just talk about the main point of this. Right, right. Because right. this is all a lead up to the 25th anniversary. Yeah. I, again, I hate calling it an anniversary, but you're going to hear it a lot here. <laughs> it's going to lead into this episode. Uh, we had three seemingly cloaked figures yeah. yes. come back. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't say come back because we don't know who they are. Yeah. But it's safe to assume that they're three past rangers. Mm hmm. Anybody want to make any ganders on who they are? I, I have a good idea. Well, at the end of it, they had the Time Force Morpher. So one had a Time Force yeah. Morpher. So that's so, definitely Wes. That's definitely Wes. Mm -hmm. I have suspicions on the other two. Okay. Uh, okay. One, I'm pretty sure it's, is, is Coda. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the second one... Gia. I think it's Gia. Gia? That makes sense to me. I feel like that's a good I, I call. I think it might be Gemma. You think it's Gemma? Yeah. I think Gemma's one of the ones that are going to get kidnapped slash captured. Oh, really? Uh, that's right, because that's the plot of the... The, the anniversary episode. Mm -hmm. Oh, or the somebody says West Coda and Gemma, so you could be right. Mm -hmm. I say I think it's Gia. Okay, cool. cool. Gia's a strong. I feel but like you, you know yeah. what? It would make sense for if it was if it was well. I guess if it was Gemma, it would make more sense. Right. Because all three would be from different dimensions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that could mean why they go to so, that portal. You know, right. Just grabbing them. Yeah. Well, we definitely know it's not JDF though. It's definitely not JDF. No. no. But it's kind of it's kind of cool that it was Wes that Wes is prominent in th in this uh, episode. If you want to go and check out what uh, some spoilers about it, mm -hmm. we have those on our website. That hashtagshow.com. Hit that thing that says Power Rangers up at the top, uh, and you'll be able to find out what the episode's pretty much about. Now we know that Wes plays a prominent role in the episode. Yeah. Yep. But let's just talk about some of the knickknacks. Now I know you guys aren't the biggest fans of Super Ninja Steel. Well. That's fair to say, right? Fair. However, so. I would say that this episode was a little bit better than the others. Not even so much for the anticipation of the 25th anniversary, mm -hmm. but it just seemed to flow better. Now, what do you guys think? Um, honestly, for me, it's like the... I generally do like watching stuff with Preston. So I kind of like the stuff with Preston in this episode. Mm -hmm. Like, the stuff with him and, like, kind of... 
outsmarting the other two guys in the club. That's kind of that's kind of nice. Um, so yeah, overall for me, like that stuff wasn't too bad, and I kind of was cool with that. Jezzer, Chip Lynn at the panel at Morphicon said that he was asked a question, and you can see that panel right now on our YouTube channel. That hashtag show has the full panel of Super Ninja Steel and the Beast Morphers reveal. We already got a super chat, by the way. And I'm going to get to that in just a second. But before I get into that, I have a question. So Chip Lynn did state that he liked some of the darker series, but he felt that when he came back to the show, Saban's, Haim Saban said that it was missing the comedic tone. Now, Chip Lynn, and I was just, I've been watching a lot of Power Rangers in Space lately, one of the best seasons out there, mm -hmm. and Chip Lynn does guide those seasons in a lot of ways. Do you think that the show can still maintain its comedy, but still have strong storytelling? I think it's definitely possible. I mean, there are a bunch of shows uh, that aren't Power Rangers that have that, they have that, uh, you know, really good storytelling and still have that little comedic timing. Like, I always talk about Voltron. Voltron yeah. is like probably one of my favorite, uh, I don't want to say kid shows, but that has that, you know, it, you know, appeals to a lot of different people. Yeah. And they, they have like those, they have those episodes where it's just strictly, you know, um, comedy and they have like the really, really dark storytelling of some of these characters. Mm -hmm. So I think it's possible for uh, now, I mean, it's still the same writers and same creators, but it's, I think it's possible for them to, to do that, especially under Hasbro. Um, Hasbro had, or not Hasbro, but they had those, uh, a lot of those animated Transformer shows. Right. And they, they also had that same tone, like kind of how Voltron has. So I think it's possible, and they're not going to be restricted by, you know, Saban on, like, keeping that tone that they've been doing for the past 10 years. 15 years. Right, no, and I always bring, for me, I always bring up a show like Steven Universe as an example of a show that could be... Steve and the Universe? Steven Universe. Steve and the Universe. Steve. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> it's, it's a show like Steven Universe, where I feel like, a show that balances really broad and kind of wild comedy, but still hits really hard with some of the emotional dark stuff, and it does a good balance of that there, too, so mm -hmm. I'm not against trying to make the show funnier, but there is a way to balance it pretty well. Uh, that super chat that I said that we were going to talk about, JR Hall of Horror, that's Jerry. Uh, he says, just wanted to thank you so much again for the prom. I hope that you pulled a lot of assets from different people's prom experience so we could show those on there. Now he's thinking in his head right now. I didn't I do did. my homework. I didn't do that. I probably should do that. <laughs> he is like, thinking where, that right am now. I, where am I going to get those from? Probably on THS hashtag because there's tons of pictures I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> we have our own Facebook group. Hey, Jezzer. Huh. So there's this new thing that we have. It's called THS hashtag. Yeah, we do. What <laughs> you can do is join that group and uh, you can stay up to date with everything that we're doing. I, yeah. I turn off notifications on that one because he's an admin. And he turns <laughs> off yeah, because I get like three three different notifications for the same post. I was like, oh my gosh, is it's. Uh... Well, well, you're welcome you... for the prom. Yes. Thank you. you're, not... <laughs> you're welcome for the prom. Yeah. Uh, back to this episode though, outfoxed. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it feels like this season's gonna pick up? Uh, maybe. I think uh, having her come up with a Zord is at least interesting, mm -hmm. and yeah, we're already you know beyond even just going with the you know the anniversary episode or the you know the twenty fifty years celebration episode. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we're near the end of the show, right? We only have a few more left, so I feel like we're going to pick up. It has to pick up. We have our own announcement on the twenty fifth anniversary anniversary episode as well. Do we'll get to that in just a little bit? Mm -hmm. uh, so what do you what do you give this episode if you had to give it a out of five? Out of five ninja stars, how many ninja stars are you give oh, you know, Honestly, this this wasn't too bad. I would give this a, a decent three stars. I would also give it a decent three stars. I'll give it a three. Because yeah. I, like I like the new Zords. Yeah. That's that's cool. One of them's a panda. Yeah. Right the on. Panda, a shark. <laughs> There's not a lot of time for it to pick up, though. No. Unfortunately. No, definitely not. Um, I feel like we're, we're only, what, maybe... How many episodes do you think are left? Like less, like eleven maybe? Less than that, even. Something like that. It's not probably, a ton. Probably like what, seven, six? No, I mean, so so this is episode nine. Yeah. And there's twenty two episodes. Oh, that's right, that's right. So yeah. So we at the very least have maybe twelve, mm -hmm. thirteen. Yeah. Um, man. Whew. Twelve or thirteen episodes, and then we get Beast Morphers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm I'm anticipating Beast Morphers, but the unfortunate part about that is I was also anticipating mm -hmm. just Steel. So. Yeah. Mm. Well. Beast Morphers is, a, is an interesting show for a lot of reasons for me. Um, not just being the next Pirate show, it's the fact that it's, this is the first show that Hasbro is going to be involved with. There's a lot of firsts here. Yeah. That's a, it's also the first Sentai that they're going backwards doing. Never done that. They've never done that. So that's a first. Mm -hmm. um, this is also the first time one of the past Rangers returns as a mentor. Mm -hmm. 
Is that a thing? No, it was later. I, went, I rolled with that for two seconds. Went, yeah, wait That's a second. A That's what the hell? Uh, it could it's be. It's confirmed. Though. I mean, <laughs> confirmed here. No, that, confirmed I, I don't know if that's true. And I watched that mm -hmm. be a thing. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, no, I, I just made that one up. <laughs> um, but that's that. I you also gave it. What do you give this episode? About a three. Yeah. About a three. Three, yeah. three ninja stars. Almost like, like low threes. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, it could be a two point eight. Two point mm. eight. So you. It seems like you have an announcement to make about. Um, the Enway's Power Rangers Legacy War, but we'll get to that in a second. I want to know what you guys give this episode in the chat. You're already, all you guys are already starting to chime in. We got Strider, gives it a three out of five. Uh, Moomin Rider, Moomin Rider, who I found out the identity of Moomin Rider. I did too. Did you, did you uh, find uh, out Morphicon. I'm not going to burn him out. <laughs> but uh, I did find out the identity. It seems like a lot of effort for them to uh, be switching back and forth. Well, you can have two things up at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Three out of five. Uh, Megan Strickland gives it five. Five stars. Oh. Thomas Franco, 4.5. Or maybe that could be a 4 out of 5 or 4.5. Matt gives it a 5. Uh, Why do you guys seem to like this episode a lot? Defender, Ninja Defender gives it a 4 out of 10, which, if, you, if you're good at fractions, that is a 2 out of <laughs> 5. Yeah. So, there you go. Mikey Perez. I like his new name now, by the way. It's Mikey oh. Perez. Prom King Prom Lorks. Lorks? I don't know what that means. He gives it a 3.5. Edward Sanchez gives it a 4 out of 5. <coughs> uh, the Games 10 gives it a 4.5. Jared gives it a 3. Mm -hmm. Ninja, uh, Larry gives it a 4. So all of you guys unanimously pretty much give this around the 3, 3.5, 4 area. Mm -hmm. Which means the show is actually, that means it's average, yeah. I would say. I would there say that's go. an average score. It's not bad. Oh, a little bit above so average. I don't know if that's something to be proud of, but A little above hey, average. Not failing, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's not, uh, let's be honest, it's not the worst season either. No, definitely mm -hmm. not the worst season. So I don't think I don't think any of these Neo Saban era seasons, I don't know Samurai. Well, Samurai wasn't great. I uh, think I, Samurai was. I and I enjoyed Samurai a little bit more than I did Me uh, Megaforce. No, I, yeah. I like Megaforce better personally. I, I mean, I really did not like Megaforce that much. Though. Really, I, yeah. I liked Megaforce a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But it's so hard to say. Right. Yeah, yeah. Fair. It's like. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know what I want to compare that to. <laughs> it wasn't going to be anything good. I'll tell you that mm -hmm. right now. Uh, you know, are you guys, uh, one of, one of the gifts that we were giving out at Angel Grove Prom, that hashtag shows Angel Grove Prom, I gotta rebrand that post <laughs> fact, uh, was that we were giving out these, um, codes, video game codes that were provided by Enway, thank you so much, Enway, uh, who does the Legacy War video game. Yeah. Now, at Power Morphicon, it was revealed all new, all the five new characters that are gonna be, uh, playable characters yeah. pretty soon in Legacy War. Jezzer, why don't you break it down for us? So they had, they kind of teased it a little bit. They had little orbs covering who, who the actual rangers were. So some of the rangers that they're bringing to Legacy Wars is uh, Shadow Ranger, uh, nice. Kruger, Doggy Kruger. Um, Fan fave. Yep, Titanium Ranger, the first American uh, Power Ranger. Fan nice. fave. Uh, <laughs> gold uh, gold uh, Samurai Ranger. Okay. Yeah, who's in? Who's going to be in the anniversary episode. That's hey, right. spoiler alert. Oh, yeah. it's not spoiler alert. Confirmed by us. <laughs> Confirmed by us. We did break that news. Mm -hmm. um, Ranger Slayer from Boom nice. Studios Comics. Nice. That's All really right. cool. That's going to be really awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, Polly Shire's character from uh, Hyperforce, uh, the yellow Hyperforce Jack. Ranger. Jack. Jack. Yeah. You That's really cool. No, I didn't know his name. That's really cool. <laughs> so, I mean, that... that they had it like they were teasing it for a little bit for right up until the panel, and then they announced it at the panel. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to uh, play as Ranger Slayer. I think she's probably my uh, oh, yeah. favorite of the of this group, of, of or even even Shadow Ranger too because of his like sword skills. Yeah, Lucius, I didn't say it was a good season. I said I didn't hate Mega Force. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Relax. Do, so, do you guys play the game though? I've been playing the game. Yeah. yeah. I learned some uh, secrets to that game that I'm not allowed to share. Mm -hmm. What's that? on how to win. Oh, really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from there, there is from, from a Manway? There is a rhythm to do it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, that was a big whether question. Whether I can actually pull it off is a whole other thing. That was a question you did that legitimately asked him. Yeah. At the last episode we did. I so, did. Yeah. There, I, I there was an episode of, well, you guys don't like the show, but I like the show, Chuck, where mm -hmm. he was playing like Space Invaders, mm -hmm. and the only way to beat it is you play it while listening to Rush. And that's how he beat the game and got to the end screen. <laughs> hey, I got a question. Yeah. How did you pull? How how did you? How hard was it to pull all those pictures that quickly? Which pictures? The prom ones. Oh, I didn't. Know. Oh, all right. So cool. cool. We got the Legacy War playable characters now. Um, how about how about you, Joe? Which one of those are you most stoked for? Uh, honestly, the Ranger Slayer. Yeah. Uh, so it's this is an interesting thing that I think is that you have one from the Neo Saban era, yeah. one from the Disney era, mm -hmm. one that's a, the American first Ranger. Yep. 
you also have uh, one from the Boom Studios, obvious era, and and one that's a an RPG kind of yeah. like made up character. So I I found that that group of uh, characters kind of interesting, but also it is very expansive for the world. Yeah. I like the fact that Power Rangers is starting to expand its universe. It's not something that I really ever imagined was going to happen within the universe, but it's happening. Yeah. And, and it's happening for the good, I feel like. You can download it on Facebook. Um, no, no, just pictures. I was thinking it's really cool, too, that, like, in a way, because we have Jack, Hyperforce Yellow, that's a way to actually bring in more or less... Bulk. bulk. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, more or less, you know. So that's really cool that he's, like, the first Hyperforce Ranger to show up in the game. That's Let me really ask sweet. you a question, Justin. Now yeah. that now that you're Power Ranger famous, <laughs> uh, yeah, you yeah. got stopped a lot at Morphicon. I, yeah, no, I, it was cool to meet some people. No, I mean, it was cool to meet the folks from you the took, who You took a this. lot of pictures. I did, I did. You yeah. did take a lot of pictures. Yeah. yeah. Would you ever be a Ranger on one of these RPGs? Would you dedicate your Wednesday to this? Uh, I would. Ooh. I would. Yeah. You would? I would. That's a lot of work. Hasbro, uh, Hyper RPG. Here's your next Ranger right here. <laughs> would you dedicate mm. your Wednesday? Well, you saw how we did that that uh, that playthrough of the Westworld thing. I could not. I could not. <laughs> <understand>. <laughs> I could not okay. He couldn't do it. Uh, it was just so long. Like it, the just doing it. Just take, it's a lot of time, and you have to invest so much into. Well, like, it can also is possibility if you didn't self medicate before we self medicate. What, what I mean is you 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 were under the weather, uh -huh. and you and you just fell asleep apparently during the during the yeah, well, the play of the game. Yeah, it was very tiring, and I wasn't really feeling my character. I guess so. Uh, wasn't really invested into into it. So, I mean, all of you guys want to know what's going on. Let's. I want to. Why don't you bring in our special guest now? Sure. So we can kind of talk about Morphicon in general. Um, in just a second, we're gonna have to scoot down here. We're gonna have to rearrange a little bit. Okay. Right. Scoot down this way. Okay. Uh, a little bit more. We're gonna, are we bringing the chair yeah. over here? Yeah. All right. Fly chair. There we go. Chair flew in. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. What? All right. All right. All right, Chester, will you, will you do the intro for us, buddy? Yes. Uh, Justin, you go ahead. Okay. You're very... Uh, I'm familiar with this person? a master on the microphone. Okay, so here we... Are you ready? Your camera ready? Okay, flying in to the table is JPG, head of the Geek Say What Network podcast. Hi, Geek guys. Say What. Now, a lot of, a lot of our uh, fellow hashtaggers have been on your show. Yes. Yeah. So, no. It's been a it's been a pleasure to have all you guys on. To be yeah. honest. To be honest, I kind of want all you guys on at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so McDolly has been on. McDolly has been on, and she was actually on our panel at San Diego Comic Con. She was on your panel. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you to McDolly. Uh, we spoke about nostalgia and how that might uh, affect uh, how people get into uh, geek culture. Yeah. So yeah. So our um, our network is very very focused on making sure that that everybody feels as comfortable as possible in geek culture. Exactly. Geek culture. Somebody like like our buddy Lucius, who's in the chat right now, says, Joe, how does it feel for your team to lose last weekend? The Aww. 49ers lost. But they did beat the Cowboys in the first week, so I'm just going to put that out there. But <laughs> Lucius, it was great seeing you at Power Morphicon. Oh, wait. Aww. You weren't there. Oh, wow. Um, let's go back to this real quick. So I, I, I want to, JPG, I want to ask your, uh, you about Power Rangers a little bit. Of course. How familiar are you with the past seasons and the current seasons? I'm, uh, so I'm 10 episodes into Ninja Steel right now. Um, but, you know, because of, because I'm a man of the internet, I keep picking up a lot of different, uh, different sorts of, like, like, tidbits and everything. So I did know about the, the 25th not anniversary episode. Not. <laughs> 25th year episode. 25th year episode. 25th year episode. I'm very familiar with, uh, with Power Rangers in, in many of its incarnations. Um, I, I tend to lean towards the militaristic ones. Mm. Uh, so my favorites are SPD, Time Force, uh, Lightspeed Rescue. Uh, you guys mentioned the Shadow Ranger, which is, like, my all-time favorite costume. Yeah. It's my all-time favorite ranger suit. The Shadow Ranger. Shadow Ranger, for I, sure. I don't disagree with you. Shadow Ranger is one of my favorite rangers, too. I think my all-time favorite suit, though, is the Gold Ranger uh, from Zio. Oh, suit. yeah, it's very, That very is a good suit. One. And a, that was the suit I saw the most at Paramorphicon. Oh, really? Yeah, really? yeah. Huh. I think MMPR Red, I think I saw the most. I didn't see as many. I think I saw MMPR oh. Red the most. That's a really tough question, you know, actually. Wait, you, didn't see a, you didn't see a lot of MMPR Red? At at Paramorphicon? Not too many. I saw maybe 
like 10, 12 of them. Of MMP already? Yeah. We should have kept, like, kept a tally. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? There point, was click, a ton of green. There click. was a ton. Yeah, yeah maybe, see, maybe green. Because that's, that's kind of what I felt like. The Green Ranger suit is kind of like the Harley Quinn of, of, <laughs> of The convention. Harley Quinn of Deadpool. Yeah, it definitely yeah, it's is. it's like the Harley Quinn and Deadpool of conventions. That's... What, would, what would be second? What would be second, like, most popular Power Ranger? Uh, MMPR Red. Red. It's MMPR Red, yeah. but yeah. I think... I, s I saw a lot of MMPR Pink, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. true. Yeah. That makes sense. I wish that we saw less MMPR, period, though. Yeah. Like, when I saw the other uh, teams kind of represented, I was like, oh, that's so cool. Oh, they had that, they had that Overdrive team? The Overdrive yeah. team the was Overdrive, super cool. That was really cool. Oh, they they had, had the whole team. Yeah. They had the Q-Ranger team. Or, yeah, it's not uh, Power Rangers, but Super yep. Sentai. But there, yeah, there were, like, three Q-Ranger teams running around. Yeah. That was wild. Yeah. The one I really wanted to see, uh, and uh, tell me if you guys saw this also, I wanted to see a Hyperforce team. Oh, I saw. We saw three. I saw some I saw people. Three Hyperforce. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh, I would have lost it. I love Hyperforce. Yeah, I think. Do you? Maybe. I, I love what they did with it. I love that it. Um, I, I got to meet um, Malika Lim. Uh, oh yeah, during she, a, yeah, yeah. yeah. And she was incredibly nice and so much fun to talk to. So, uh, I and I, I'm a I'm a huge fan of tabletop RPGs in the first place. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. That's why when you ask Justin, like, oh, would you be? On? I would be on it in a heart. Yeah. <laughs> I already I already have my Hyperforce uh, uh, like timeline already worked out. <laughs> I don't think. Whoa. I don't think I could do it. The I yeah. mean, I I like the show sometimes, but it's very tough to get through. Uh, like a three hour long show mm -hmm. that every week I think it's so hard keeping up with it um, what did you play Dungeons and Dragons no I up? played it I played the first time I ever played an RPG was that Westworld thing oh, okay, yeah. oh. Yeah. <laughs> you're I, I I have to say you're definitely missing out it's a great teaching tool <laughs> I believe it I believe it and it sounds like a lot of fun and I would totally do it I just don't know if I'd be able to dedicate every Wednesday to it oh yeah, yeah. yeah. it seems like a lot of prep work and like and also, the one thing I kind of don't like about Hyper... <laughs> oh, fuck. You have a mute button on your computer, do you think? You were given... You don't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it wasn't um, for nothing. It wasn't just a count thing. Dash that giveaway. But the one thing that, that I didn't like about Hyper Force, I felt like it didn't matter really what they chose. It was always going to end up do, like the same way anyway. I don't felt I didn't feel like that they really made a they difference. didn't have that mm. like that many scenarios where it's what's not about the scenarios I think the storyline was always meant to go where it was supposed to go and it, nothing really changed mm. oh so uh, I mean I, I can definitely see your point it is a little bit more pre-generated yes. than most tabletop RPGs are right. supposed to be um I think uh, we you know, especially with with these types of like of media where you're trying to tell like an improvisational story at the same time like you kind of have to set up a few Points, right? Sure. I also think that, like, for example, I'm, I'm sure that there's mandates that at the time Saban had was we can't kill off any rangers. Mm -hmm. Like, it has yeah, to be like yeah. a thing. Mm -hmm. And I feel like those those were always things that were that in RPGs it makes you feel like the, your, the characters aren't safe. Yeah, there's whereas, a little bit of danger to it. Whereas this, I felt like, or not this, but Hyperforce, I felt like, well, all the characters were always going to be safe. Right. Yeah. Was I a, see that. a downside for me. No, oh, they, sure. they did try killing off one. Kind of worked a little bit, yeah. right? <laughs> um, all right, so we know where you stand with Power Rangers. Now, this is a question for everybody here, since we are going to really talk about uh, Morphicon at this point forward and talk about Beast Morphers, but Morphicon is really what happened. It was the big Power Ranger thing. All the news came out of there. Uh, how many times have you guys all been to Morphicon? That would have been my fourth. Wow, that was your fourth Morphicon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're yeah. a vet, you? The would be my third. The awesome, first one is when he took a picture of me right That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even I didn't even know like there's a few people that like, oh you were alpha is like and then they'll bring up the pictures like Well I just wanna bring up like the moment I saw you as Alpha and your buddy as Zordon, mm -hmm. I freaked out, took a photo, <laughs> and posted like online going, Well, this won the best costumes, period. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That like there's no question what was the best costumes I saw in the whole show. And I saw a ton of great costumes, but I was like just thought that blew me away. <laughs> You'll never see it again, though, because uh, yeah. he retired from yeah. cosplay. You ca what? Yeah. He, sorry, so he says. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the agreement. You can't come out of retirement. I, uh, there are a few was... people that came out of retirement and came back. I was mm. under the impression that cosplay never stops. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it did I, stop. Oh! It stopped for Jesser. <laughs> Damn! I like it, I like it. Like and, and, and then, and which is available on the Tee Public. You, yeah, actually, that's a great, great plug. It is available on Tee Public. You can get those shirts. We also had new Power Rangers shirts. If you actually look at the back of Jezzer's 
new shirt it says until you retire so, <laughs> that was that did stop but it's a it's a, it's a post morphicon exclusive shirt <laughs> a lot of people a lot of people that um that went to morphicon did say that we had the best pa best shirts there mm -hmm. you're missing one from the group because you wanted to put up that <laughs> no 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 it, i was getting the pictures from the actual website it was the uh, oh, okay, once gotcha. ranger wasn't on the website yeah, yeah it's yeah. not on there yet oh. uh check them out uh we have our new power ranger shirts up there you can get them now mm -hmm. they are amazing and uh, well, which one was your favorite? Oh, mine was Fast and Furious because I love Fast and Furious. Mine was the Star Wars one. Yeah, yeah, we were, we, we had a little uh, uh, ongoing bet to see which one would sell the best. And, uh, there is one that's missing from there. That's the Once a Ranger shirt, yeah. which is going up soon. Mm -hmm. Which uh, one was your favorite? I, I was always a big fan. Of, I know I'm like kind of like, I I was always a big fan of the RPM one because uh, the RPM one like mashup always made me laugh because like that's exactly how I pitched the show to people. It's like it's like Mad Max with a little Power Rangers in it. Mm -hmm. I do love the the Fast and Furious one though. Yeah. That one's really good. Yeah. How about you, JPG? Uh, the pirates one. Oh, I understand that Megaforce wasn't the best, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, Justin actually got me into Go mm. Oh, and yeah, he's so always just, talking about Go I, I just pretend that it's Go in that <laughs> particular. <laughs> That that's fine. I mean, you, with that's that, a good way of looking at it. Yeah. yeah. With that shirt in particular, there's a lot of Easter eggs that I don't know if a lot of people picked up on. Mm -hmm. So, like uh, the villain, I think it's Vrax. I don't remember his name. Yeah. But yeah. He's holding a uh, the helmet, but in the helmet is the skull, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's ju just like the Pirates of the Caribbean. And then uh, on the on the floor, you can see the the Mega Force helmets of pink and blue. Yeah. Uh, so there's like and and instead of pirate ships in the back, we use the Zords. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that was really a, cool. A lot of little Easter eggs in there. A lot of little Easter eggs in there. Uh, all right, so... so the shirts are available now. So yes, they are available on TeePublic. Go get yours now. Mm -hmm. There's a link. There should be a link in the... Um, the description. Description. Mm -hmm. Also, so JPG, how many Morph Cons is this for you? This is my very first. Ooh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah it is. So yeah. when you... Before even uh, arriving at MorphCon, what did you expect to see? And did it live up to your expectation? You know, I... I'm not the kind of person who, who goes around to get signatures yeah. uh, or like to take photos or anything like that, mostly because I know I'm going to lose it and I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to like talk to them about episodes and like, you know, like some of these people are like 20-ish years out from their episodes and I feel so bad about that. <laughs> um, but uh, I, what I always look forward to the most are, are like the small vendors sure. mm -hmm. uh, that are coming in, you know, the, uh, like... You know, your, the shirts that you guys had created for this. There were some other small vendors as well. Um, I actually, uh, from Henshin Vault, uh, I actually brought my challenge coin uh, nice. that, I, that I got also. Um, <laughs> my uh, uh, One of my brothers is a police officer, mm -hmm. uh, and I actually bought uh, different, I bought challenge coins for them so they could carry them around on duty. Oh, that's really? Cool. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, uh, for police and military, like challenge coins are like a big culture of, okay, if you don't have it on you, you gotta buy a round of drinks for people. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a lot of fun. So now I have to carry this all the time. <laughs> the light bulb just went off in my head. Oh, Hashtag no. show challenge. Oh, you <laughs> if you do hashtag show challenge coins i would lose it if we're doing it <laughs> yeah, this is a new thing we're totally doing this oh, now crap <laughs> good luck guys good luck oh, um man. so this was your first power morph con um you you saw, talked about some of the positives let's talk about some of the negatives mm. ah. um and what i want to talk about first is people complained a lot on the first night about the lines yeah uh were you there you weren't there the first i wasn't night, there for the first you night. were yeah, yeah, but were I you were there the first night? Uh, no, but I had I had uh, like business contacts and stuff that were there for the first night. You were there. Yeah, but I was I never left. I never, never left, left downstairs. But we did hear a lot of the complaints about the yeah, from the fans. I, I went upstairs once to grab some stuff from my car. The line was like there wasn't even any ropes, but it was snaking kind of naturally, and it was filling up that first that that whole hall leading leading up towards the Hilton and out around the Hilton uh, around the convention center. So it was pretty long. Um, so if you were inside, you got lucky you didn't, you know, burn or anything yeah. like that. I do Black Wings, like, that line was a, the line was a nightmare. Black, you weren't even there, bro! What did he say? <laughs> the line, that line was a nightmare. Wait, Black Wing, did I see you? No, he wasn't there. Oh. He was, uh, he was calling, uh, Larry Newbill via Skype, and Larry had a, oh, like, one, yeah. one, one fun thing from Prom is, uh, Black Wing's date, that who he asked, he asked Jessica from mm -hmm. our cast, uh, she got swooped up. She got swooped by Matthew Thompson. So. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> <that one. laughs> um, all right, so I do have a question. So you, we talked about this line con. Do you think that was a problem? 
for the convention or more so because it was in a new venue? And especially the new venue, but this was a newer part of that venue. So what had happened, I, w I spoke to one of the uh, staff members. They were using a new system for... Uh, for like checking who has a ticket, what ticket they had, which is not like whenever, like I know with Animex, but whenever they change their system, that's when stuff goes all crazy. Yeah. So it's never, it's always best to have like a, a backup plan for that. They didn't have that till the next day. Mm. And uh, that's what made the line so long. Um, they, the system they had, they, they didn't work all the kinks out and uh, they kept the line long and people were, were there was no organization on what which line to go in. So there's a lot of people in like that had like gold ranger tickets or silver ranger tickets that were in the red line. So the red line was the longest one because that's just the regular weekend pass. Right. So um, that's what had happened. They they they're trying out a new system at a new, at a new convention, you know, at a at a bigger at a bigger venue, and it just didn't really plan out. Right. And that that's um that's a few things that. You, I mean, it, it happens. It definitely yeah. happens, especially what I mean. You're if you're trying out a new system, eventually you're gonna have to uh, get do a little test run and see if it works. But um, it's unfortunate for them. But the uh, the fans, there were some people complaining, but overall it wasn't like crazy. It wasn't mm. TanaCon crazy, you know? Like yeah, well, not not much is <laughs> not, not much is TanaCon. TanaCon. Yeah. So uh, we admit, I'm gl yeah. I I will admit when I uh, there's some people I was following on Instagram who. Uh, were kind of sharing on story like uh -huh. what the line situation was i got real worried i was i'm not gonna lie i was kind of sitting there at work looking like on my breaks being like that's that's disconcerting yeah, yeah like i was like i was going with friends who had to still buy their tickets so even i was like going we should get there early because i don't know how how bad it's gonna get um but anyway, i also keep it yeah but like like you said jester was like it's a new venue and so i'm i kept that in mind a lot mm -hmm. like they don't... This is the first... If I'm not mistaken, this is the first show they've done that's not at the Pasadena. Yes, yes. In yes. terms of all the shows they run, this is the first one they've done that's not at the Pasadena yeah, I mean, convention. Scott Scott in the Pasadena Convention Center, they kind of, like, work hand-in-hand, hand and right. it's, like, home turf for Scott, so yeah. he kind of knows... He knows how that show... Yeah. How that place is run, yeah. so doing this show here with this building that's also new itself, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure it was a huge learning curve for everyone involved, so. You know, I do have to say, just bless everyone that worked at Power Morphicon, though, like, handling all those problems all at the same time, yes, and, yes. and you guys really pulled it together, and uh, stuff is gonna happen, stuff's gonna yeah. go wrong. Mm -hmm. But what I also wanna remind fans as well is, like, hey, maybe take it a little bit easier on them, <laughs> yeah. when, like, in the moment, because, like, then we're no better than the person who's, like, complaining about, like, oh, this is an expired coupon, but I'm gonna try to use it anyway. <laughs> right. you know? and, and so, like, uh, so I, I do appreciate, um, there, there was a lot of, there was a little bit of fan backlash in social media, but, you know, the, the PMC staff definitely fixed it as quickly as they could, yeah. and you gotta give them props for that, too. Yeah. yeah. Like, Saturday seemed like it went really Smoothly. well. Like, pretty smooth. Yeah. yeah. Saturday was... I don't think there's any problems at all. I mean, there was lines to pick up your badge if you're picking up your badge I on mean, Saturday. I also think a part of the problem uh, may have been that the the Platinum members mm. were supposed to get in an hour early, mm. and they got in the same exact time, so then a lot of people were like, well, why did I get the Platinum membership if it's not ah, really giving me yeah. any perks? Mm, there's sure a lot sure. of people that I heard uh, that... I, I guess there was a bus problem with a Thursday night thing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that was happening. Uh, I know, I, there was a few people that they didn't pay for the little bus field trip thing, but they just walked on the bus and it's like, uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But I, I do think that Morphicon did a great job mm -hmm. of, uh, of providing a great convention. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think that definitely. it was a lot of fun. I think the fans had fun. Uh, and But you're right, though, JPG, is that the community... I. Something I've noticed about Power Ranger fandom, I guess it's really in all fandoms, is that there can be a lot of toxic yes. people out there. Yeah. Yes. Um, and I felt like in social media, you kind of you saw it more so presented from the Ranger community. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the, in the same flip of that coin, there's a lot of positivity, too. Oh, yeah. Then mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of people that were... Uh, this is the first time I've really seen Ranger fans really embrace each other kind of like like this. At the bar, you know, it's just people having fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I, I thought it, I thought well, it you, was... Like, you were there Thursday and Friday night. I was there Thursday night, yeah. And uh, you interacted with a lot of people from the I con. Did. How was that? It was great. It was great. I think um, I think everybody was super friendly. Everyone was really nice. I got to give a shout out to... Uh, I don't remember your, your real name, but I kept calling the guy Greg. Greg. <laughs> Whatever your name really was, uh, <laughs> I apologize. Because he was my best friend, Greg. <laughs> 
I wasn't there Thursday, no. Uh, yeah, he bought me a shot. He bought uh, two of our producers, or JD a shot. <laughs> As if she thought I was a Power Ranger. <laughs> so she was like, oh, no. hey, my name's Katrina from Ninja Storm. And I was like, oh, I'm Joe. But Power Rangers yeah. trail. Right at the moment. And then yeah. the hashtag show could have released a new Power Ranger show. <laughs> well, we have one coming up. I don't know how much you know, but we actually do have our own Power Rangers show. What? True yeah. story. It'll it's, be coming out soon. Yeah. yeah. So, like, is there like an application to be an extra ranger? <laughs> well, we uh, we have had, there's going to be more information on that as as uh, time time comes comes about. But there's right. definitely it's, it's going to be pretty pretty cool. Uh, there's a team of thirteen people, by the way. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be pretty pretty elaborate. We know we know what we're doing here. Right. <laughs> uh, I do want to talk about some. You you mentioned some of the smaller booths that you liked. I want to talk about that experience for a little bit. Let's talk about the floor. Let's break it down. Mm. So on one side of the floor, you had the signing area with all the Ranger actors. Yeah. yeah. The other side of the floor was was mostly all vendors. Yeah. And then towards the walls were the panels. Right. Mm. How did you guys like the layout? What really stood out to you? What did what did you guys like about uh, the floor that you saw in Morphicon? Uh, it was, I think the best thing about it is that it's just really easy to kind of figure out. It's not a big show and it's not a, it's not a huge show in comparison to like say, oh, a Comic-Con or a WonderCon. So a whole side of just performers and where they're at, where you get your signatures, cool. And the whole other side, it's very easy for me to find what I was looking for and what I wanted to go to. The panels was interesting. What do you mean by that? It's it's interesting. I've never been to a show where, like, it's so, like, they're hidden in a wall. <laughs> you know? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, it's a door. It's like, I'm so used to panel rooms where it's like, clearly, it's like, it's like, it's either upstairs at the convention it was center. All, it was all the rooms surrounding the convention center. Yeah, yeah, and okay. it was it was fascinating because it was like I was like normally like oh uh, you have to get out of the exhibition hall to go to another room and that's how I'm used to a panel layout being and here it's like it's embedded in this hidden wall yeah. in the exhibition floor. Um, so that one was the one thing where I'm like I was I had to kind of do a learning curve yeah. in terms of where I had to find stuff. But other than that, I thought it was a I, it was a it was a decently easy layout to figure out. I actually modded a panel uh, during, I heard during about the weekend. That. You yeah. did? Yeah, it was a Pink Ranger panel. But uh, wait, by accident? Were by, you always... uh, <laughs> so what had happened was one of the PMC workers there was running the panel and he had to go round up the next panel, the mm -hmm. Rangers for the next panel. So we were we were in the we were in the prom room. <laughs> we were in the prom room like, you know, uh, stuffing bags and helping set up. And he's like, "Hey, can I can I grab one of you for a second? And I was like, "Everybody else is pretty busy." I was kind of standing. I was like, "All right, cool." So I walked with him. He's like, "All right, just come in here." And then just like uh, people, are, people are asking people are asking questions. Uh, just make sure that they they're behaved and you kind of like uh, control the flow of the of, of the of the panel. I was like, "Wait, so I'm modding the panel?" <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You can you do that? I was like. Never done it before, but sure, <laughs> let's do this. Hold on, hold on, wait a minute, mm, hold on, wait a minute. So wait, he picked, unless he, does he know you from? Okay, so let me get this straight. <laughs> a guy went, let me ask a rando to see. Well, I think because he saw us in the other room. You looked a little yeah, more yeah, official than yeah. just some guy he pulled on the floor I going, guess, like, could you maybe. do this real quick? That was a drive-by modding. <laughs> 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 it was, uh... It was interesting. So I came in there and I just, just there's like all there were six rangers. They had which rangers? What do you got? Do you remember? They were all pink rangers. Yeah, Catherine. Okay. We had uh, Mystic Force Pink. Uh huh. SPD Pink. Okay. We had uh, Raja, uh, which was uh, white. white from Ninja. Mm -hmm. Um, who else did they have? There's a few more. They Camille had, Hyde. Not Camille Hyde. Um, Christina Masterson. Mm hmm And uh, one more person I can't remember. It's probably from a season. I don't did, did they all like look at you and be like? No, they just kind of continued. They, just, they rolled yeah. with it. All right. Yeah. So I just there were. I mean, I did the, all the questions. I let them. I let them ask. There is one where I was hesitant and let them do it because I know how much Rangers don't like it. Uh, mm. the, the morphing the question. The morphing question. Oh. Uh, right. I'm. I'm 
I'm lost on this one. Okay. Mm-hmm. So at a convention, a lot of like fans will ask uh, the, the panel for them all to do the morph. And that this guy wanted each and every one of them to do it individually. He's like, oh, can you each do your, your morph? Because, you know, with the morph, there's like this whole choreography. Yeah, and right. Of and so these are like a lot of like a lot of rangers I talk to, they say, oh, that's probably like my least favorite like uh, request that, you know, fans will give me. And then so the guy, he, he was this really aggressive guy. He was at the prom, mm. actually. And he was just like, can you guys do your, do your morph? I was, was like, the guy that kept coming up to me in like. Uh, I'm like, I'll tell you. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. I think I think I, I think I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> also. He, he was like this guy that's like, I'm gonna call you boss from right now. I'm gonna call you boss. I was like, all right, man. So that's, that's me or you? To me. Okay. And I was like, okay, cool, man. And he's like, oh, okay, okay. So he he was guy and he was very assertive. I didn't know. I didn't know. I was gonna say no, no, no. They're not. They don't have to do that. But I was like, oh, I mean, if they want to do it all, they said, oh, can we can we do it all together? At the mm-hmm. same time, I was like, and then he goes, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So I let them do it. <laughs> but yeah, so the the. The panel went pretty well, and then the the line ended, and then I asked them a question. Oh, um, something about like, oh, d- when you when going to the show, did you audition for the Pink Ranger initially? And then mm-hmm. so they answered that question, and after that, the guy came back. So, okay. So I did like, <laughs> I didn't do much, but I, I will like you to held say the line. Though, that uh, <laughs> if you actually go and check out our Ni- Super Ninja Steel panel, mm-hmm. it's one of the best coverages of it because we plugged right into their audio. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's pretty, <laughs> oh, that's great. Clear. Shout out, shout, shout out. out to Shout Factory. Shout Factory. Yeah. yeah for hooking, uh, oh, that's cool. hooking a marker up. I guess um, they had a um, just a direct feed into the into the yeah, audio, yeah. and he was oh, able. Nice. That's why it's really clean. And I know what a lot panel. of you fans are thinking about Power Rangers. You're like, where are the other panels? When are you going to see that? Uh, we're going to put those up. Monday. We're not going to do them all at once. We're going to uh, put them up week to week. And we can say that more for Monday. This week is going to be different. It's going to be... No, it's Gemma. Gemma. It's yeah. not a panel. It's Gemma from the Power Rangers yeah. RPM. Uh, now, I want to ask you, JPG, did you get to attend any panels? Yes, I did. Which ones uh, stood out to you? Uh, oh, my goodness. I can't remember the name. Uh, Justin, if you, mm-hmm. if you want to... It was the very last one on mm-hmm. Sunday okay. that we attended. Oh, was it the Our Powerful the fandom? fandom? Yes, Our Powerful Fandom. Yes, yeah, 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 that yeah. was. Oh, that's the panel that I no showed. No, what? Wait, what? were you what? supposed to be on that panel? There's two panels I was supposed to be on. One was Sunday. Uh huh. One was Friday night. Okay. But they didn't tell me until I got there, and then the <laughs> Friday one I just completely forgot about. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then the Sunday and then we left, one we left Friday. Yeah, and then I left early Friday, and then then the Sunday one I just mm-hmm. needed. We had so well, much we... other other things we had to do. Right, right, right. And yeah, yes. you, and you just got back from prom technically yeah, yeah. the night before. So yeah, right this is night, man. Yeah, that was the panel that had Angel Grove Radio, uh, We the Geeks of East LA, um, Bruno Mia. Did they, it, from the picture it looked like they all didn't really have like a they were sitting down kind of like crowded around the table. Well, it was it was there was, was a, a stage yeah. and like they were up on there. Yeah, uh, I would say it was a little bit more of like a homey sort of feel. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, let's like, all have a chat. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was way more of a I'm. It was less of I'm talking at you yeah. instead of like I'm talking with you. You're part of this conversation. Yeah. So oh, I uh, really appreciated that. Chris Katana was also in that panel. Um, Daryl, of course. Mm. Uh, DJ was in that panel. So yeah, it was like oh, Dex- Deca Mexican, Steven, director of the, of the Super Hero. Yeah, yeah. Rita was there. Um, and I'm Seamus. And Bruno and Mia. Bruno and Mia, yeah, yeah. So. Seamus, the WWE superstar. I knew you were did gonna not know that. He was a, he was a huge fan. fan. That's crazy. Huge fan. No, um, it was a, no. I, that, that was a that was a panel that I definitely sat through too. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, I also sat in on the. Oh my gosh, where was the one that it uh, where they announced the Solar Ranger? Oh, that was the Boom Studios. The Beyond Boom the Grid. Studios. Yeah. yeah, Beyond the Grid. Yes. Yeah. Which now, ones. like, anytime there's like a new secret ranger, <laughs> I'm always like, I need to know who this is. <laughs> like, it's it's that it's that intense mystery that I, I need find to it out. interesting that the comic books are doing that better than the TV show. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I was I was thinking about this today too, where um, a lot of writers and artists are really using the comics medium to just push like to, to just push stories as hard as they possibly yeah. can yeah you know with 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 power rangers uh, it, admittedly there has been a little bit of a of a slowness to it of a stagnation to yeah. it mm-hmm. uh, as opposed to when you're using the comics you know you don't have that that budget for ex- uh, you, you don't need that budget for explosions yeah. Yeah. or anything yeah. like that right yeah. so they're really pushing the medium and and you can see this with any with any media turned into comic book as yeah. well 
Yeah, that we the, we got some big news out of that panel that you were actually mm-hmm. at. Uh, the new ranger is Solar Ranger. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess she's gonna play a big part in after after Shatter Grid is done. She's gonna be a, a big part. Of, and with Go Go Power Rangers, they're switching our switching around their suits. That's a really neat idea. Yeah, it's so, an idea that like I'm kind of surprised no one's thought of. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, in terms of a Power Ranger show, yeah. so it's like. That's a really cool idea. I also like the fact it's not just simply swapping colors, you're swapping helmets, too. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, here we see, like, yeah, Trini's red, but she also wears the Tyrannosaurus yeah. Ranger uh, helmet. Uh, you know. Jason is yellow. So, so he's, he's wearing Sabertooth Tiger. Uh, Zach is a uh, pterodactyl. He's, yeah, Zach is pink. Kimberly is uh, blue ranger, mm-hmm. uh, triceratops. Yeah. And Billy is a black ranger. It's a really cool uh, setup. I'm mm-hmm. looking forward to what that storyline's going to lead into. There's also going to be a, a confirmed... Uh, love thing between Jason and Trini, which is cool. They've been hinting at that in GoGo, so it yeah. makes sense that st- we're going to get to that point in next uh, round. As somebody who married a white woman, I'm here, <laughs> I'm here for an interracial relationship. <laughs> That's true. Uh, we also got Heckle's going to be the Dark Ranger, Confirm. a.k.a. Talon Ranger, the- a.k.a. Was, yeah, was, so, was Talon Ranger ever, like, coined, or was it, that's just... Did you not see my thing with <laughs> Yoshi when we uh, talked about this on the show? No, I didn't. Yoshi Sadarso says, no, the Talon Ranger was never supposed to be a thing. Actually, the Silver Ranger that season was called the Talon Ranger in the pre, pre-recorded stuff because it was, like, the bird guy. Uh, and that's where they got the name Talon Ranger, but they put it into that figure. Or they put it into some figure. And now, that, that's where the name Talon Ranger came from. But now he's the Dark Ranger. Now he's the Dark Ranger. Okay. This is cool. And it is Heckle. Yeah, finally. <laughs> which, is, which is strange to me. It's interesting. And the reason why is because I don't know how the Dino Charge is supposed to fit in with what they're doing. Right. And Heckle's such a random character to pull from, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we'll, I mean, see. I was. this is the thing where I'm really intrigued by what they're going to do with MMPR post like the grit stuff is that like this lineup, this whole team is like group of, it's like a group of characters that like not everyone grew up with so you're gonna have outside of like unless you've been reading the comics so you will be at least aware of kimberly as ranger slayer but then now you have to get to know magna defender you have to get to know and is it mike magna defender it is mike, mike as magna yeah. defender yeah oh uh, I, like I, I was i always wanted mike to be at power morph gun he i think he's the one that russell no one, lawrence yeah has he never showed up no he's never been to oh. power morph gun. Yeah. <sighs> uh who is it it's magna defender uh andros, andros yeah uh, tanya mm-hmm. uh zio uh, Rage, Ranger Slayer and uh, uh, Cam. Cam. Oh yeah, Cam. Sure, Ranger. Green, Green Samurai Ranger. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Cam's in this. Uh, Shuriken Ranger. Technically, yeah. it's <laughs> Green Samurai Rangers, right? Mike and Cam. <laughs> you so yeah. Thank you. Didn't even think about it. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Um, so yeah, this is the. They have to. I'm looking forward to see how Marguerite Bennett, who's going to be writing the series, is going to explore how to write this group without. Uh, Confusing everybody who doesn't know their shows. Another thing, too, I want to mention mm-hmm. real quick is we were talking about booths a second ago. Anybody that stopped by that hashtag shows booth got an experience. Yep. Uh, not only were we selling those cool t-shirts that we saw, which you can get on Public with a correct link fixed uh, in, the, in the description below. Uh, so you could get those cool shirts. But also, they got to stop by and see our Megazord booth. So check it out. Uh, we had the Megazord there. Yeah. Which was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I would say that, um, I would personally feel like this. This Megazord thing was, oh, I should actually talk to you about this. So, me- the Megazord idea came about, and when I had pitched it to everybody, what what did you think? You're like, alright, cool, that we're not gonna be able to pull that off, or what did you think? Like, how are you gonna do this? Uh, well, you, we had, we already had a, a guy lined up to, to build it, so, it was like, hands off, like, okay, he's gonna, he's gonna make it. It just came down to... Uh, his work and see what he could come up with. And he's he is a very talented uh, cosplayer. He makes some really great stuff. He he likes doing this. He's a very hands on guy. He, now he's jumping on hashtag show like full time. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> so I th- I thought it was, I I thought it came out perfectly. The only thing, <laughs> the bringing it in and taking it out. That was probably it was a lot of work. No, yeah, work. I can it see was that. A lot, a lot of work. Lot of work. Yeah. I, I still have like scratches all over from it. Yeah, it was rough. But uh, I think that the cool thing about that booth, though, mm-hmm. was that it was it definitely had the vibe of the original Megazord. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, when you when you looked in it and when you when you sat in it, it just felt like it. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna promise this is that as we progress uh, with every convention that you want to see us at. By the way, if you want to see us at other conventions, bringing the Megazord along, let that convention know that you want to see that hashtag show there. But we promise to improve on this every step of the way. 
uh, and and we already have a lot of ideas for improvements and a lot of things already flowing for this Megazord. And I think it was a lot of fun. You, you got a picture in there, right? So yeah, yeah. Uh, one of my one of my podcasts on our network uh, actually got a picture in it as well. I, I'm sitting in the Red Ranger seat, <laughs> uh, so I was very happy about that. Uh, but uh, I did want to say uh, thank you because uh, right, as welcome. a fan. Um, the the memorial plaque yes. that you guys oh, put yeah. in there for the Yellow Ranger, um, I think. Well, I'm, for me personally, was the absolute best touch you guys did with the. Thank I, you. That was actually uh, the, the the Daniel, yeah. The the, pro, the the builder's idea. I yeah. love that. I remember when the first one we walked in there, there was like a plaque for Tui. I just was like, that's fantastic. Yeah. And it was her seat. It was yeah. like the Yellow Ranger seat. So it was it was pretty cool. And I and I I got to give credit Daniel Prime. Follow him on. Instagram. He was our uh, he was our builder for this uh, idea. A lot. He put a lot of work into it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and we sat down. Him and I sat down for months, like uh, pulling pictures, like screen grabs, mm -hmm. and just seeing like what we can reduplicate, what we couldn't. Mm -hmm. Here's the coolest thing about um, the Megazord in terms of how it looks when it was photographed. It's like when you look at when you look at it in person, it was like, oh, I could see it being painted. Yeah, super chat. What's that? Right on. Uh, Red Phoenix says Solar Ranger looks like uh, Q Ranger, perhaps 2020. Mm. I could see that. There's a there's a Q Ranger vibe yeah, to it. Yeah. Um, no, but like when you look at the Megazord up close, it's like okay, it's card, it's it's wood, it's paint. I can see it. But when you photograph it, and what's kind of funny is that with the convention lighting on top of it, it looks like the show. Yeah, it's it looked, wild. It, great. it looks so much like the show. Yeah. So uh, uh, you guys can't see him right now, but Daniel Nagami, who a lot of you at Morphicon met. Yeah. He was the guy that was <laughs> that was uh, handling all the, all the transactions you guys were doing, but um, he we captured a picture of the very first day on that Friday, which was a GoBuster Ranger sitting in the cockpit, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Hey, can we print this out?" We put it on the side of our booth, and legit people thought that was from the some anniversary episode. I'm like, no, 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 no. this was taken on Friday. They're like, no, it wasn't. And I was like, yeah, no, it was taken on Friday. So props to Tim for printing that out. But it really did, like in that picture, it really did look like, it, like I was like, wow, this, it really is like the Megazord. The authenticity in was incredible. And oh man, have you seen the Coney Brothers with their their video in no, it? No, I didn't. No. So the Coney Brothers who rep Blake Foster <laughs> and um and R J uh, Kyler, they were in there doing like the oh like the yeah. wave back and forth, and yeah. the camera's like moving, like the Zord was getting shaked. There's so many cool creative things that I saw in there. Uh, Malika, who you talked about, uh, she, she, she wore her Rita, 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 Pulsa, her Rita yeah. cosplay in the Zord. You want to know the most request, the most joked thing people said about uh, the Megazord cockpit? Oh, the, the green. The, yes, every the, that joke happened like 20 times a day with someone going. So you can have someone in the Green Ranger suit come in the back and punch everyone out. I, <laughs> I, I think someone did do it. We, I saw. Yeah, there were a couple teams. Yeah. There, couple there is teams. a video. I think I think I saw someone do a post a video of that where they mm -hmm. had the full team, full regular MMPR team, and the Green Ranger did come in and punched everyone out, and I was of super happy they did it. Of course, they're very, they're very careful. They're kind of like being careful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, no, I've been hit. <laughs> it, was, it, it, was a, it was a cool booth. It was a very fun booth. Um, it, it's it's kind of crazy because I feel like I wish the whole convention knew about it, but it was such like a – you know what it's like? It's like having like a really – good restaurant yeah. that like not a ton of people know about mm -hmm. but then when they get there like oh dude this is the best food ever it was a lot, a lot a bunch like of that. rangers came by they were just like oh my god like, yeah was... and then yeah uh polly polly uh bulk he came by he's like wow this is better than the sets we were actually wrong <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had we had we had uh we had walter jones we had the mega force rangers take pictures in karen it ashley karen came ashley by. came by we R did an interview R in there Boylan. yeah from rpm jason david frank uh took a picture in there um, so it was a fun, fun booth. And again, we want to bring this to different towns, different cities, but not just this. We want to bring – look, hashtag show we do something unique here. We try to do it some, something unique every time. Speaking of something unique, something uh, that was a little off the, off the wall um, was prom. Yeah. But uh, before we get to prom, I do want to ask about uh, – for uh, JPG, this question for you actually. <laughs> so with Morphicon <laughs> – um, with a lot of, you've been to a lot of conventions, I'm assuming. Um, kajillion, yes. Sure. So, uh, and, and most conventions usually have some type of event or night programming. What did you expect from Morphicon in, in terms of that? You know, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting, uh, any sorts of events that would, like, connect intrinsically with Power Rangers. I thought it was going to be, oh, like, let's meet up at this bar or something like that. Like, no. With with prom, which was the one thing I was looking forward to, uh, <laughs> there's a whole background to that, and I'm sure we'll get into that in a bit. Yeah. But it was 
inside of the convention. Mm -hmm. So then it gives uh, it gives fans like this really interesting look into okay, this is what the convention looks like when it's completely dead and you're not supposed right. to be yeah, in yeah, here. Yeah. Right. There was a lot of uh, um, like exclusive feelings when it came to that. Mm -hmm. I really really enjoyed that. But yeah, like you know, a lot of the meetups I go to, it's like oh, uh, we're all generally meeting here at this time and grab a beer with us or something like that, right? Uh, this was. This was an event to the strictest definition of the word. It's, it's funny that you say that. So there was a VIP meetup, I believe, on Friday night. Mm -hmm. So there was a VIP meetup, and that was at the Hilton. Okay. I was mm -hmm. on, like, the third floor of the Hilton, I believe. Um, and I think certain – I didn't go, so mm -hmm. I don't know really how it was. But I, I heard a lot of fans. Uh, there were rangers there, but it was so crowded in this room that um, – I don't know what the situation was. And I know that there's always VIP meetups like that at, at MorphCon. And Justin, uh, since we have the, the new side of it, mm -hmm. I want to hear about the old side of MorphCon. Were yeah. there ever events? Because I know that there were always things that MorphCon had, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, chat me up about some of the events that MorphCon's had in the past. I mean, here's the funny thing. Like, I don't, I never went to any of those, but I always heard about, like, I, you know, we're all meeting up at like the Cheesecake Factory down the street, and I've heard stories about like people meeting up with actors there, or just going to a bar there and talking to them post show. And it sounded like, oh, that sounds cool, but like never felt like it was a thing I needed to go to, or I found out about it way too late. Um, so that I mean, it makes sense for the show where when it was when I went back in 2010 and 2014. That's that felt right, you know, like oh, it's a quieter show it's a simpler show and the events are just gonna be these hey we're gonna hang out here i this is the very this is the first one where it's like oh here's a big thing that we're leading up to and i uh, yeah I, I will say what's really cool about it is like the folks i've met who were really stoked about it felt like this is an experience that they've uh never got a chance to you know, enjoy their way like there was a there was a kid who um I talked to and he literally said the words, I can't wait to go to this. It's like going to my high school prom, except I want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> like, and he had a blast. And I like, I checked in on him later. Like, How are you feeling? He's like, dude, this is great. I'm like, awesome. That's great. Really um, actually, there was a situation I remember where, like, there was a, a, a mom who was a bit concerned. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You actually talked to her. And I made sure, you know, she was a bit concerned of how, how we were going to handle some of the things. Um, but I saw her in the middle of the night at the, at the show with her, with her, you know, with her daughter. And, have, and I'm like, she's sitting at a table. And I went up to her, I'm like, how you doing? <laughs> you know? And it's like, do you remember me? It was, early, it was me earlier, the one you're talking to. And she just, like, puts her hand on my shoulder and went, like, we're having a blast. Thank you. This is great. And I'm like, okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, it's uh, it's an incredible feat that you guys mix both alcohol and family friendly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, that is. <laughs> there was a there was a lot of towing the lines with a lot of things. <laughs> alcohol and family friendly, and then there was there was uh, honestly a, one one of the first comments we got was, "You're not." The first comment I got when I walked in is that somebody told me you're not going to get Power Ranger fans to dance. And I want to give a shout out to <laughs> DJ Rob White, who you guys Dude. know here from some of the shows. But honestly, everybody on that dance floor was mm -hmm. tearing it up. And yeah. I was like, wow. At one point, I was teaching people how to dance and I didn't even know what the dance was. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. But yeah, so the, there was a lot of mixing. I think the cool thing that, that, um, that prom did for everybody, us included actually, was that it brought us closer to the fandom, but it made it more communal. Yeah. Instead of being like a toxic environment. And I think everybody kind of came out. There are rangers there just yeah. mixing it up with everybody. Yeah, it was a it was a very unique feeling for a convention, you know? Like, I uh, <laughs> I literally got a suit cut for this event. <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> that suit that I wore that night, I had it cut specifically for that event. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Like, what was... Was there any specific like cuts in it that made it better for dancing or something? No, 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 no. It was um, so I. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I'm sorry, sure. but you know, so uh, my wife and I, Alex and I, um, we wanted to, we wanted to go as rangers, but in actual like prom yeah, yeah, like yeah. gear, right? Right. So she wanted to go as Ms. Morgan. Uh, from Dino Charge. Nice. Oh. Yeah. So so she was a purple ranger for mm. for Dino Charge for that one. But I was like, I can't decide. If I want to be the Red Ranger, if I want to be the Shadow Ranger, or like something like that, right? <laughs> so I was like, wait a minute. Like, the reason why I got into Power Rangers in the first place was because my name is Jason. 
Uh, and the Red Ranger's name is Jason as well. And right. that's dictated a lot more of my life than I, than I <laughs> want to say. Um, but I was like, okay, well, Jason was two characters in the mm -hmm. series, right? Mm -hmm. He was the Red Ranger and the Gold Ranger. Yep. So what I did was I cut a red jacket. I made sure to wear red pants, uh, or excuse me, uh, black pants and a black tie. And then all of my accessories were gold. That was so, Ooh. that was good. Yeah. yeah. So Everyone looked so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So here's a, I had a mini freak out before the prom started. <laughs> <laughs> this is, nobody actually knows. I never, I've never I shared this with anybody. This. So a lot of you guys don't understand the stress level was at an all time high. I didn't really show it a lot. Mm -hmm. At least I don't think I did. No, no, I didn't see it. But um, there was definitely times, uh, and, and so we had that talk, and it's funny that you brought that up because we had that talk with that mother who was mm -hmm. concerned about how we were gonna handle kids with special needs, how we're getting them in, how we're getting them out. And then a lot of people would come up to us and say, you know, they're kicking everybody out on the floor. And I was like, yeah, yeah I understand. There's panels still going on, but our thing doesn't start till eight, which was even wrong on the programming, which said nine. Yeah. Then a lot of people mm. thought it started at seven. So it's like, no, it starts at eight. And I was making sure that was that was fine. And I, I think it was, I think it was like almost eight, and I was still working inside of the prom, mm -hmm. just trying to make sure everything. And I remember, I don't, I think it was like Junior or somebody. I told them, or maybe it was Daniel. I said, make sure the doors do not open until this is all ready to go, mm -hmm. because I don't know, and I'm sure that everybody, both of you guys and Nagami know, that I was a Nazi about closing the doors. To yeah. The, prom. the yeah, whole time, I was like, were. keep the doors closed, keep the doors closed, yeah. keep the doors closed. The reason why is because I wanted everybody to see it the way it's supposed to be seen, yeah. right? So anyway, I went up to the room to change and I sat in my shower and I thought, what would be the worst thing if I didn't go back down? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I legit was thinking this for, I mean, I, I even came a little bit later, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, a few of us got that. And I, and I remember thinking, I was like, what if I didn't show up? Like, what would happen? <laughs> like, is would everything, because there was so much like, so much going on that, that I was having to deal with. Then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna suck it up, go down there. And then I got, I saw the line of, to get in. And I remember thinking, I hope this doesn't turn into TanaCon and I hope this doesn't turn into <laughs> to Night Zero at Morf or the, the first day at Morphicon where people were complaining. Mm -hmm. However, I gotta give props to Daniel Nagami. Uh, anybody, Jessica was controlling the line. You yeah. were for a little bit. Everybody yeah. was doing. Corey. Uh, Corey. Mm -hmm. Everybody. You, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what, 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 Wait, see, Jason actually ended up helping yeah. that night too. Well, okay, so you I, and Alex, yeah. So, <laughs> so Alex and I ended up uh, helping. I helped out at the very beginning when I was checking people's uh, bracelets uh, because Daniel uh, hadn't changed into a suit yet. Yeah, he was and still in his clothes. For a for which Daniel? A drone. A drone. Really? Yeah. So we had um, we had been talking about suits for weeks, and I came dressed, and 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 he was like, "Oh, I gotta show him up now." And you can, like <laughs> see it in his eyes, right? So he's like, "Oh, but like I have to handle the I have to handle the line." I'm like, "Tell me the rules. I got you." <laughs> so then I'm checking all these bracelets. Joe walks in, <laughs> and he's like, oh, "Hi, Jason." Jo what are you doing? Why is you not really enjoying this? Like, yeah, so then Alex, inside at the VIP line, yeah. at, the, at the VIP area, she started checking bracelets at that one. So, yeah. uh, I mean, no, the, the Geeks yeah. and Network I, is always happy to help out. That's Thank you, I appreciate that, because you guys, you guys made it a lot easier for us. But yeah. you know one thing I'm super proud of, though, is that every single person that was in that line got to go in. Yes. yes. There was, there, like, everybody was in there, and I, I want to clear up some of the rumors right now. It was a free event to everyone with a badge. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a VIP uh, paid thing, which was $50. And then if you didn't have a badge, it was $20. I think that was pretty well understood. But it wasn't canceled. I know that people were kicking... That was a convention thing about kicking people out and then making them wait outside. Wait, someone said it was canceled? There was a rumors going around that it was canceled, but it, obviously it wasn't. Um, but it still went off. And one thing that I've been hearing, and I've been getting questions about this all week. So, with the success of... Angel Grove Prom, are you gonna do it again? And I told everybody I would not, and I'm sticking to that. Oh. Uh, we are never, ever gonna do Angel Grove Prom again. However, fear not, because I have a whole nother thing for Ranger fans, a whole nother celebration that we're gonna do. Did do I get to dress up still? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> but but the, the way that you would dress up for this one would be almost actually yeah, you would like you it, would like you it would like more it. so than anybody yes. um, it's, <laughs> it's it's there's this is it's a two-part system though if this works out the way i want it to then this is you guys are gonna have you guys are in for the time of your life uh i'm not gonna say it's gonna outdo the prom because the prom is a completely different experience but this one will be just as cool 
Nice. Oh yeah, so uh, our, our good friend, uh, Jason David Frank, made a little video on his vlog. I don't know if you guys know this. No, I didn't see his no. uh, hit, hit the video. Somebody. We lost somebody. That so was awesome. He'll be back. He'll, be, he'll back. be back. He'll be back. JPG will be back. And again, you can check out his show uh, on what, what was it? Uh, his Geeks, uh, Geeks Say, Geeks what, Say network. what Network. Geeks yeah. Say What Network. They're Bunch great. of podcasts down there, like Ready Set Geek, Geek KO. I am doing his plugs for him. That's how many plugs I know about. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, you guys know each. You guys know each other for a while, though, right? A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What other Rangers showed up? Yes. What, what other Rangers showed up? Oh. Uh, uh, we had Hector who was doing flips. Oh boy! Yeah, that was he wild. Was, no, I don't think he stopped doing flips. He was doing flips for hours. No. He just kept flipping off the stage, flipping off. Brendan the stage. Mejia. Speaking of Brennan. flips, yeah, <laughs> he flipped. He didn't flip, but he was like dressed like in a. Tux. Wait, he was he towards the beginning and left. Yeah, because he was uh he was helping out with Brighter Future Charity, who, okay. who this oh, event nice. was for. Uh, Brennan was the prom date to one of the kids from Brighter Future, which is actually Rose's daughter. Yeah. So that was very cool of Brennan Mejia. Shout out to him. Um, the Silver Ranger from uh, In Space. Was Silver there? Ranger so, from yeah, In they Space. Were there, Justin yeah. Nemo and Christopher Kamen Lee uh, were there. Jack yeah. Guzman from Wild Force. That's and, right. And Philip John Murray from Wild that Force. Whole, almost I the whole Wild them. Force cast. Oh, was Allison there? Allison was there. That's, yeah, I did see her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, my there. gosh. And then I saw her. The, remember we were walking by and I saw her the next morning? And she goes, I hate hey, you. No, 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 no. I think that was the day before. No, no, no. That was. Uh, that it wasn't was... the prom. It wasn't from the prom. I guess you guys drank before. Or... No, no, no. That was the prom. It was the prom. Yeah, so we kept just doing shots to kill. Oh my god. And she was like, well, uh, the 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 thunder thunder. Oh, Rangers, the thunder rangers the thunder shut thunder up. That's right, dude. They, did. they were like, I saw them towards the end of the night. Like it was like three o'clock. They were they were done. They were... <laughs> uh, you know who else? Uh, for, at the very end of it, Johnny Young Bosch. Oh, John. Yeah, he showed up a Johnny little, a little a... quick to support his uh his buddy Polo. Oh, cool. Man, um, it was so much fun though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's like, a few Rangers. Ibarra was there. Yeah. There's a few a few people from there. Was there. A, there were, uh, what was the highlight for prom for you? Prom king, prom queen? You did the announcement. I did. I, I was actually outside, and then JD came and was like, hey, uh, Joe's looking for you. He was like, okay. <laughs> and then I had to uh, crown uh, Mikey Perez, who's in the chat right now. 
um, along with Brittany. Brittany Wilson, yeah. So um, that was cool. Yeah, it did. It was. It was really, really. What was the best part for you, dude? It was just nice, like seeing, just looking around, seeing everybody looking good, and just having a good time. Yeah. Honestly, that was it. Like, and it's just like I turn around, I would hang out with one group of friends, turn around again, hang out with another group of friends, work the door, turn around, and, uh, turn around, hang out with a bunch of folks. It was, it was, it was a blast, man. At, so that was one of my biggest concerns. Actually, was um, I, I was kind of worried slash nervous about uh, reactions to Twitter. Sure. Because I was like, man, what if people didn't like it? What mm -hmm. if people this? What if people that? It seemed pretty positive, though. Everyone uh, responded pretty positively. Um, so I'm, I was really stoked about about that. And like I said, we are considering doing uh, Morphcon Express, mm -hmm. PMC Express. Mm. So what that's they, uh... starting in Pasadena, Texas. Ooh. Isn't that funny? I'm not in Pasadena. Yeah. 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 That can't be by accident. Right? No, no, it's yeah. got to be. Awful. But we are considering that. Um, I know that. I know that a few of us are going out to New York Comic Con, mm -hmm. just seeing what we can do there. But I will promise you this: in 2020, uh, we are going to be doing it big for Morphicon. Bigger. That's, that's so far. It away. It is far right away. Now. It is far but away. But then so all of a sudden, it'll be like yeah, that. Hey, but <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. In fairness, though, like I remember, there was nine months to go. Yeah. Do you remember? You remember this conversation? Nine months to go. And we were sitting there, like, hey, we need this, this, this. We have nine months. And I'm like, listen, I don't want to wait till the last minute because then we're going to have, like, a week left. And we ended up with a week left and tried to do everything in a week. We got it done. Within the last three weeks, all these, all these things started falling into place. It was uh, it was nerve-wracking. I want to put something out. Like, when I did um, my very first show for you guys back when I was on PCR, Common Rider Corner. Common Rider Corner. Very first episode, you pitched me... A bunch of the shows that bunch of the plans and i remember thinking specifically two things with with the with two of them when you told me about problem went, that's a fun idea then you told me about the megazord uh, photo op and I went i can't wait to take a photo in that thing and it was really cool to like you know a year later and all of a sudden I'm like holy crap you did them like you did them and there was they it, you still did it even with skinny your teeth you still did it and like those are the two things people were really, so yeah, really yeah. stoked about, and they were probably some of the most popular things I've seen people talk about in the show. Every time I used to go through, like on Instagram, it's like someone posted the Megazord picture or someone saying how much they had a good time at prom. So people had so much fun, yeah. and I got to thank all of you guys for showing up because I think that like the one reason we wanted to do an event like this is to show maybe not just the Ranger community but the convention community that you can do something different than just an after party with just random music and a stage. Yeah. I feel oh, like I, I wanted to give people the first ever prom experience with the fans, by the fans, for the fans, and that's exactly what we did. Uh, and like I said, maybe somebody else will throw another Angel Grove prom, and, and, and hats off to you if you guys do it. But um, – us, at least me, I'm I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> we even have a snap. We had a Snapchat filter. We did have. A, we a lot did. Of people didn't know about that. I didn't uh, know that. Some people, yeah. I uh, some people were using. It. I saw it. I was like, oh yes, they're using it. No, I saw that. I was like, what is that? Is it only on? Was it only on Snapchat? Yeah, because I, I you, can't have, you can't have custom Instagram ones. Uh, Instagram did doesn't allow you. to I got do real it. jealous. I was like, oh, that Snapchat. Yeah, the only <laughs> that's the only reason some of us had got it just to use it. I promise. <laughs> I, I will promise people this going forward, though. With um, every event that we ever do, we're never going to do the same event twice. Uh, and the reason is is because we want to make it different for the very specific people that attend that very specific event. Mm -hmm. And if you attend that event, you'll get that experience. However, if you attend another event that we're at, that experience is going to be very unique to you. And that's the goal for every Morphicon, every convention. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to say every booth because now, I mean, how do you really top the Megazord at this point, uh, right? You don't. You're going to build the whole command center? You, you have to build the whole Megazord. The, 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 thunder, the Thunderzord cockpit. You yeah, know, yeah, like, the Titanic. With a little yeah. green circle thing. <laughs> we're going to just rent out the whole convention center yeah. and we're going to make the actual schematics of In, the... Individual, individual uh, cockpits. Yeah. <laughs> um, Paul asks, will hashtag show ever come to Ranger Stop? Well, hmm. Hmm. You guys, hey. Well, I mean, there, there's talks right now, but you guys, if you guys want us at Ranger Stop, hit Ranger Stop up and say, hey, can you get that hashtag show over to Ranger Stop? Mm -hmm. And they, I'm sure they'll be glad to have us over there. Are you guys getting the hint? Ask them. Ask them. <laughs> Request us. Yes. That's how we can get there. Um, speaking of special events. Yeah. This Tuesday yeah. is the 25th anniversary. Yeah. I hate saying anniversary because it's not an anniversary. <laughs> The 25th year of Power Rangers uh, episodes being on the air. And, and obviously, they're doing a primetime special that airs at 8 p.m. 
I think everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. It's 8 p.m. everywhere. I'm excited. On Nick. On Nick, 8 p.m. Uh, we are going to be doing a special event right here at the Comic Bug in Manhattan Beach. Join us to watch the show. It's going to start at 7 p.m. to watch the show. And then we're going to do a live stream reaction with um, special guests. Mm -hmm. Who are those special guests? Well, we can name some of them right now. We can name, yeah, we can name uh, two of them right now. Yes, uh, Caleb, Caleb, Caleb uh, and, and Chris. Yep. They play Monty and Victor, uh, Victor from the show. They will be here uh, live on the after show with us. Another ranger, Brennan Mejia, who's not in the yeah. episode, but he's uh, he's a ranger. He'll be here. Nice. Uh, we might be getting some other special guests. Uh, Peter Sodarso, who's on the episode, and uh, one of the I don't want to put the, possibly one of the returning rangers one of from the, the anniversary episode rangers. are also going to be coming on. Who's it going to be? You guys can guess. So cool. Tuesday, come down. We're, we'll we'll be here. Uh, we'll have a lot of fun, and it will be amazing. I'm, yeah. I'm really excited to see. Everybody kind of come out for that. Um, share it out, you guys. Share share out the event. What are you going to do? Watch it at home. Chill out. I mean, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Come here. Watch it with some rangers. And uh, that's so this is be a fun a, night. Yes, this is an, 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 another point I want to do. Uh, oh, we got another we got another super chat by Larry. Hey, Larry. Props hey. to you guys for a successful Angel Grow prom. Thank you so much, Larry. It was fun hanging out with you. Dude, seriously. This past weekend. What? Uh, hmm. Are you like, what is that? Yeah, what? Oh. Um, so here's one thing I, I, I took away from my experience of doing all this stuff. Was that the Ranger community, I feel like there's cool things that we can be doing. And since we are in the Ranger community uh, as Hashtag Show, we want to do a, more events that include fans, include you guys, uh, bring you guys out to us, uh, bring us out to you. We want to do more events for us, and I, this is why we're doing this big 25th anniversary watch party together, along with uh, some of the Rangers that have been in the show, uh, Rangers from the past, and Victor and Monty. Victor yeah, and Monty. Geeks, we the geeks. <laughs> and we the Geeks of East LA. Yes, they're, they're co-hosting it with us. We here at that hashtag show are all about collaboration and not competition. Mm -hmm. For the most part. For the most part. Um, <laughs> But yeah, if you guys are out here in Southern California, come and join us. That is the Comic Bug in Manhattan Beach. That is Tuesday night. Starts at 7. Doors open at 7, but we, we hope to see you guys there. Um, you guys have a, another show to do. We do. Mm -hmm. Henshin Hangout. Yes. You guys got a lot to talk about this week? We yeah, do. We, we have, have four, uh, episodes. four episodes because we have to catch up because we didn't do an episode because of more Yeah, so. which is understandable. Yeah. And right. also... Um, well, you got to plug JPG out. I know. <laughs> we're we're going to be on After Dark, though, yeah. doing a fun show. We're just going to talk about just geekdom and experiences. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, you know what? Tune in. If you've ever wanted to learn how to do this kind of stuff and do it professionally um, and do it, you know, just any kind of like learning tools. That if you guys ever wanted to start your own channel or start your own um, Twitch, and Twitch is not my expertise, yeah. but if you ever want to start any of that stuff, Tune into that after dark because we're gonna be breaking a lot of that stuff down, talking about some of our experiences. Because you, mm -hmm. Justin, have done this for a while, especially with podcasting. Right, right, right. Um, and you kind of just jumped into this in the past year. Yeah, yeah. And for me, I've been doing this for a few years. But um, guys, it was great to meet you at PMC also. Uh, but we are definitely going to be back then yeah. after dark. So check that out. Where can you find after dark? Well, that's a great question. You can find that over at Pop Culture Renegades, which is our sister channel where you can actually get to know us better as people. If you didn't already know us from Power yeah. Morph Con. But guys, uh, stay tuned because they're going to be doing the Henshin Hangout. Yes. Ooh. Right about now. I'm going to take my uh, root beer <laughs> and enjoy. And cool. it, uh, this chair. Oh, oh. I just knocked everything oh. over. Oh, oh. oh, oh no. yeah, you can give away that Lord Draken too. <laughs> no, really. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, we Stick around for the transition, folks. <laughs>